Yo, how's it going, folks? So the Terminator T-800 gameplay trailer has just dropped, so it's time to watch it. That's clever. You are also a cyborg. No, just cybernetically enhanced. You will be terminated. Fight! Uh. Yeah, let's grab them, folk, anyway. That's quick. Oh, nice run. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you fucking gun. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> Oh, nice. Double skin, is that Sarah? Oh! Oh! Oh, that was nice. If you're into your uh, Cassie Cage and stuff like that, well, what could I say about that? Um, so the voice, no, I was already saying about the voice. That wasn't going to be him. Uh, oh, what would I maybe give that? Maybe 6, 7 out of 10 for the voice, then the impression. Um, the way that he looks, so he looked really good there. Obviously, it's for the new film, but it's not even out yet. Um, obviously they're going to hear other costumes. You hate, hate Terminator. They're going to hear that. That's just it has to be. It has to be. You know what they've done with Shang Tsung? They hate, hate Terminator one outfit. They hate, hate Terminator uh, two. Let's just hope they didn't hate a nude. <laughs> a nude. I know Schwarzenegger skin. That would be uh, that would be pure skin. <laughs> Maybe we have cigar burn uh, and some cuts and uh, bits of wood and splinters for a pool cue. That's a Terminator Two reference, in case you didn't know. Um, looking forward to that. Obviously, the battle damage and that really good with the crushing blow. Obviously, you see that endoskeleton skull. That's very nice. No, you could go in a bit too detailed here, and I'm not going to, but just a cane folk are going to think about it. What jumps to my mind is like Soul Calibur. I mind when it was on a GameCube. You got Yoda, you got Darth Vader, was it Heihachi, Mishima, and you had Link as well, all jumped in there. And I mind when you had Yoda and Darth Vader on Xbox and PlayStation, they were, respectively. And then you would get people going, oh, well, the lightsabers would just destroy the other swords, you know? The thing is, they're in the game. Obviously, a lot of the things that's happening to him, he's able to can take it easily. Or if somebody's punching him, it's that's probably why they put jacks here. So it's like, well, the arms are going to compete with the endoskeleton uh, metal. But um, 
I suppose like likeness, it looked like when it was doing the um, the fatal blow. I thought, whoa, that doesn't look like him, you know. Again, hope they'll start improving things, or things will just start looking at. I think they will. They'll just add things to it and make things look better. And again, you didn't get all this footage as you know when we get the final thing. That's going to be different, eh? So, likeness. Ah, it was near enough 10 out of 10. Was something out there. Kind of maybe dropped to maybe 8 out of 10. Eh, uh, with wee bits. It's... Oh, it just feels a few missing opportunities. Even the music there as well. Again, that music will grow on us at will. I like the obviously effect when he's coming back. And the flesh is burnt off. He's in flames and scorpions. No go a hope in hell. And he's just going, ting, ting, ting. I wonder if um, he's got limited moves, a bit like the bug devourer has got limited things it could do with that end of skeleton. I think he took, what, like four hits? Um, I can't see that be in any um, tournament legal variation anyway. If no, they're going to hate to change it. And it's not been the first time they've changed things. It was an old, like, Shang Tsung skulls, you know, like, in three and they put it down to two or something like that, so... And that's a bad thing with these trailers, as I spoke before. So like that, just a uh, casual fan, I suppose, are going, hey, that's great, you'll be able to get all the moves and blah, blah, blah. But when it's come to tournament things, which is the the heavily invest time and the look around, a lot of the moves are not even going to be able to touch or even get a sniffy. And again, with the last video, was that the other week that I dropped today with the third variation? Again, people have commented the last video I've done today with the third variation when it got announced. Still didn't hear a date when that's coming. So, I'll be interested to see what we get with the T800 version, really. With regards to, I suppose, go back to the looks again. When I look at the T800, now it doesn't say it's Cyberdyne Systems 101 either. It's just the T800. Um, again, this must be like the new look of the Terminator. Now, I've got the Endoskeleton skill. If you've ever seen like a wee Christmas video I've done, I think it was one of like the first times I really showed my face. The that skull we saw there, that endoskeleton, based on just the skull mainly, just really looked slim. You know, it was a bit more chunkier. And obviously when Jax is getting uh, put into the future with the sphere and the terminators are coming along, loved that. Honestly, that looked, oh, just looked amazing. It really did. Really did look good. The endoskeletons are looking different. You know, they've got these extra wee lights and stuff. Again, hate to add things, make things look differently. Uh, I'm just really hoping it's good old Terminator 1, Terminator 2, things I'm able to kind of look at and customise and stuff like that. Even the gear, gear, uh, the, the gear that he's wearing uh, is obviously for this new film. You know, it would have been... They, they don't really want to show you any... You think they would maybe show you like a wee different skin or something, just a wee callback to one of the films there, or even his biker jacket or... The shades, you know, the Johnny Cage, the the toys and that with the box of roses. Again, I'm going to show this sometime. But to my left here, I've actually got Hot Toys, uh, Terminator One. I got ages ago, and in the next room, I've got Terminator Two, Ways Blumen, the box of roses, and the shotgun. You know, love Terminator, absolutely love it. So, really excited to try them out. Anyway, I am. I've never touched Mortal Kombat in a wee bit of while. Things have just been kind of. Uh, busy lately, so um, yeah, I enjoyed that. I think it just shows maybe it's a, a time constraint thing. I think it'll be made a money thing, or maybe it's just too much money. You'd think just the small amount of music you need, you know, you just need that. That's you just you just need what seconds yet obviously no somebody clapping but you know like that hammer that metal sound it must it must be someone else the money they must want for it for getting you think that would just all come as a package you know it must be must be frustrating or must be interesting as well uh, outside of looking in just how all these deals come down okay and how 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 the boy will do to getting so many things, you just think it would come as a package, you know? It's just, it's just kind of like probably like a game. Well, if you're buying this, you know, you're just getting the bare thing, but there's extras. You can pay for extras if you want me downloadable content. You want that theme tune today with Terminator? Well, it's a wee bit more money. 
You want that voice package? Well, that's another wee bit of money. Oh, you just think, you just think you'll just get it all, eh? You just think, well, there you go. Turn it right in the game, boom. There's everything you need. Make it look good. Hi, they, they have, they've made it look good. I'm not going to take that away. It really is. Um, I suppose like he's fighting there as well. I like how he's able to absorb some zoning. You know, he kind of turned his back. Like Terminator 2, turned his back and... Doo -doo 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 -doo, getting T1 through. Well, wrong hand there, left one. T1000's shooting that uh, 9mm Beretta, I believe it was, in his back. I think that's kind of that wee homage, that wee turn around. Boom, 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 boom. Like that, the teleporting thing. Like that as well. That was really fast. I, I would hate to look back on that. Was it a meter burn or no? Not too sure. I hate to look at that again. Shotgun, some of that was nice. A lot of uh, command grabs by Aluxia. Throwy moves, which is what everybody really thought he was going to be like. He really did resonate mere again with Jason. That a lot of us were all feeling was going to hit he, what he's kind of going to be closest to uh, because of the movement. Got that kind of that run in there as well, where it was like a running boot, but like Sub Zero, I think. And then he had like um, kind of like what Noob Cybot's Shadow does, he eh? runs and this tackles him to the ground. So, um, yeah, going to be interesting. I'm really going to enjoy it, see what the story goes. Oh, it's just a shame, eh? I just, again, I'd be interesting. Just the, uh, just the voice. And you think they'd even get, like, wee samples for a film or something, eh? You'd, yeah. Oh, I just don't know, folks. I don't know. Again, we'll get used to it. We'll get used to it. It'll be interesting, as always, the interactions they have with other people and that. Um, so that's it. Hi, hopefully you've enjoyed this anyway. I done a wee video, it was a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. I was actually playing Terminator 2, the arcade game. And that had, and if you didn't know, uh, Midway was involved in that. And that was round about the time Mortal Kombat 1 came out. So it's kind of been like that, foo circle. So if you never saw it, check it out anyway. It's a, it's a good game, again, was that like 92? Something like that, 91, 92, early 90s that game came out. And I mind playing it. Uh, when, all, when I speak either in videos or I speak to people, when I talk about the first experience of Mortal Kombat 1, it was in Florida. And I remember the Terminator gun game as well. That was there. It wasn't the same arcade as where I played the Mortal Kombat game. It was definitely in the same, it was in the same area. And it was like different arcades in different places. And I mind playing that game. It was just amazing. You had that, I'm sure it was like a, was it not like an Uzi? Or was it the Pulse Rifle? Can't remember. Pulse rifle, you had to be button for the grenades and stuff, eh? eh? And that took a lot of quarters, eh? But then it really did. I mind it being in the corner, I could still visualize the place. It was like away in the right over there in the corner. And then Super Nintendo was out then as well, eh? So I kind of felt like arcades they were just, they were just kind of maybe at their kind of peak, but then this was just slowly, this is a slow demise of them after that, I felt, when all these games. These Super Nintendos have become better. I don't know if it's the PlayStation not come out as well. So, um, and I might be thinking, I might do a few other wee Terminator things, eh? I might, uh, might show you my wee collections. Again, you're able to Google and look at all these things, eh? Mines are covered in dust, you know? I just put them there and forget about them. Uh, but I do sit at times. And my wee display cases would be in the dark at nights. Throw the lights on, it's just day it's on, eh? And uh, just, it's just a nice effect, eh? Really being in the house and they're all glowing up, eh? And I've got Predator there as well. And if you're a fan of M, Mortal Kombat X, XL, um, I would have thought I would have played more Predator because I love Predator. You know, I did, I did like him in MKX. He was, uh, uh, Hishka 10, no, Jesus Christ. That was a wee bit, uh, <laughs> he was a bit too uh, run can, so in plus frame heavy. Um, and you could get him moving. But, um, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll show the things off. But again, if you never saw that video, uh, you didn't care about that game, didn't even know Midway was involved with it, check it out, see if you... If you like it anyway. It was not easy. Uh, and that I don't know how much. I'm going to hate to work out how much that would have cost me. If I was actually playing that game. To actually complete it. That would have been a lot of dollars. A lot of bucks. It would have been. Anyway folks. Hope you enjoyed. Looking forward to this. Oh I never touched on these skins as well. These skins look nice. I like the Sarah Connor for uh, Sonya. But good if they had Linda Hamilton as a voice. That would be a nice bonus. Uh, Johnny Cage. He was here like a tuxedo or suit type thing. And then, or probably a stripper. <laughs> Maybe for Terminator 3, I don't know. 
And then it looked like Kano. He just looked like he was like Lex Luthor, really, didn't he? he had the Injustice armor vibe, but red. Um, and then you had old good old Cassie uh, Cage. And that's a wee bit of callback there with that. Um, was it the Fatal Blow? Blooming crushing the old testicles there as well. It's like he looked and then he crushed. Uh, painful. Painful. So uh, that Harlequin one, uh, pretty sweet. Definitely a good good callback to Injustice. Yeah, it's good bringing that Kenny back into it, really. Um, but anyway, like I say, for hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Adios.